Away from the shore, conditions are different. Here, only small amounts of kelp can grow, floating near the surface. Each strand is supported by air sacs on its stem. Other primary producers live here too. They're too small to be seen. Microscopic organisms called phytoplankton. Plankton means they are drifters, floating without anchor in the currents. Phyto means that like plants, they get their energy from light. They inhabit the upper layers of every ocean. Their primary consumers are zooplankton, Zoa meaning animals rather than plants. Krill are zooplankton. They are tiny crustaceans that eat phytoplankton and store some of its energy in their own tissues. Here the secondary consumer is the anchovy, a fish that eats krill and other zooplankton. There is also a tertiary consumer, a shark that eats anchovies. In any food chain, there are fewer and fewer animals at each level. Here, countless billions of phytoplankton are eaten by a smaller number of krill, which are eaten by a smaller number of anchovies, which are eaten by only a few sharks. Why is there a pyramid of numbers? For two reasons. First, a great deal of energy is lost every step of the way, either used as fuel or removed from the food chain if organisms die before being eaten. 